Hey guys, it's May May and it's time for more Chalk Couture. Today we are going to do another great erase. So the board that you see underneath my apple pie transfer has a nativity scene on it from Christmas. It was one of the first ones I ever did and I'm excited to take this off and redo it. I want to talk about this for a second. Um, I'm I should tell you this, I filmed this video and the audio got lost, so I'm having to do a voiceover. So if what I'm saying doesn't work with what I'm pointing to on the screen, I apologize, but I didn't want you to miss this because it was really cool. Plus, I have a big mistake in here and I want you to see me fix it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water on one of our um, board erasers and I'm going to wet all of the chalk and then I come back and clean it all up. And something that I did that I should not have done, and you'll see why in just a few minutes, when I cleaned this chalkboard, I did not clean it all the way. My thought was, how pretty would it be to have a little bit of the chalk dust left on the board and then put the transfer on it and it looks like somebody actually drew or painted the chalk on there that we're going to put on with the past um, transfer. So you'll see when I get through cleaning this, I leave kind of a chalk haze and I thought that would be so cool. I really, my mind was thinking this is going to look good. Like I erased it and then redrew it. Well, I was wrong because I made a mistake on my board. So this is where I stop. I do not go. I do not wet it again. Do you see some of that chalk residue I left behind? I should have wet my um, cloth and washed it one more time, but you can see how I left it there. Okay. So when I make my mistake, you'll see where that's a problem. But I wanted to tell you that's why you can still see that on the board. It was part of my process. Um, also, this apple pie transfer is a big transfer. This is beautiful. You know, they've done these several different times. We've had like the strawberry, I think it's strawberry uh, cobbler or there's something like that. There's been all different kinds of little recipe ones. And this is an actual recipe on there that you can actually make as well. I decided because this was such a big transfer that I was going to cut that top portion off and do them in two separate kind of batches. So I do the apple pie first and then I do the recipe part separate. It has a line for me to do that and I thought that's pretty smart because that way I won't take a chance of my chalks drying before I can peel my transfer up. So now what I need to do is decide how I'm going to do it. Now you know, when I'm doing these videos for you guys, sometimes I'll do the board upside down so I can reach it better and not have to reach across. So I'm going to put this part of the stencil closest to me, but that's just so that you guys can see it in the screen. So I'm taking out my fuzzing cloth and I'm going to fuzz this transfer. I think I fuzzed this one three times. It did not feel like it needed any more than that. So that's what I did. To fuzz a transfer, you put it down on a cloth, a microfiber cloth, something like that. This is a fuzzing towel that you can get from Talk Couture. That's what I typically use now. I love them. But we've used other towels. I like the microfiber because I don't like it to pick up a bunch of lint. So I think I did that three, maybe four times if we counted all total. And then it is ready to put on. Now watch this. I love that. Even though this transfer is sticky on the back, I can slide it into place and get it right where I want it. Isn't that cool? It has a great adhesive on the back, but it will move almost like air hockey. You know how air hockey will have that air underneath it and it'll move for a minute? So you can see here, I'm just placing this onto the board. And I didn't get it exactly where I wanted it because I want it to go right to that white line. And this time I do get it there. So then I'm just going to press this down. I want to show you. I am not going to press every edge of this guy. I'm only going to press where I'm going to be chalking. I don't have to make sure every single edge of this transfer is stuck down. That will help me later when I go to lift it up. I'll actually be able to peel it off without having help because I won't um, stick all those corners down. It'll be easy to lift off. So I decided to do three colors on this here pie because I thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be cute to do the lattice in one color, the ribbons in another, and then the um, apple pie wording in still another color. So which one did I start with? Ah, it was shimmer copper. I love this color. I decided to do shimmer copper for the lattice because I thought it would look kind of golden brown and it would have a little shimmer. I thought that'd be neat. The red is going to be the ribbon. And then do you see this rubber band? So lots of you guys have sent me this tip that you do this. You take a rubber band and put it around your board. So whenever you're cleaning off your squeegees, instead of doing it on the side of your jar, you do it on the rubber band and then it will fall into the jar and you can rinse the rubber band off of any that's left behind. It was okay for me, but it kind of got in my way a little bit, but I did do it on this board because I wanted to show you guys. It might be something you guys want to try. If I put the rubber band off to the side a little more, I think it would have been okay, but 
either way. Now this is a little mini mister from Ranger, just one of those little like um, misty bottles, you know? And I thought I would try this whole, if it starts to dry, I mist it with some water to kind of extend the life of my paste while I was working. I don't love what happened. You'll see it in a few minutes. I want y'all to see that because if you're going to do this, I want you to be aware of what could happen. I love this product. So this is the shimmer and it, this is the paste, not the ink because the paste is also shimmer now. Here's the red. And see how I'm using it on that rubber band? It's cool. I like it, but it kind of, you have to be kind of careful and it's kind of hard to get the, um, the chalk paste out from around it. I mean, it's doable and you don't have all that buildup on the side with it. It's a pretty good idea. So lots of you guys, and even in my downline on the, on my design team, on my chalk couture team, even they do that. So it's a neat idea. All right. So now that we've got this done, we can release it and see how much easier that lifted up because I didn't press those edges down. And because of that, I'm able to lift this up by myself because that space that doesn't need to be stuck down was not burnished down. Now see how cool this would have looked with that extra chalk on the board by leaving that kind of haze on there. It would have looked really cool, but I'll show you why it totally messed me up in just a few minutes. So I'm going to take that and wash it because it wouldn't fit in my little bowl. So I'm taking it to the sink and washing it and then we'll come back. Now we're gonna work on the bottom. Look how beautiful that pie is, it's so pretty. So this is the piece, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one that I did on the top. Now I have to tell you guys something before we get started. I added water to my white paste before I did all this. You're just gonna watch me fuzz again. So I added water to my white paste, but I over watered it. So when you see me do this today and you see what happens with my white paste, I wanna show you what happens if you overwater your paste and what you have to do to fix it. So you'll see that in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna place this transfer where I want it just by eyeballing it. I do have to hold it up and look at it and make sure it's pretty centered. And then just rub this guy down. I'm gonna use multiple colors on this one as well. Even though I go back and change what I did at the end, you'll see when I get to that point. So the first color I use, I think, yeah, the first color I decide to use is the red color for the apple. So I do that whole apple in red. Then I decide to get real froggy and try to do the apple peel around the rest of the apple. And I do, it does pretty good and it probably would have been okay except for my white chalk accident. That's where I really had a problem. So then you see I take the shimmer copper again. I thought that copper would look really good for the cinnamon and um, then I, this is where I missed it. Did you see where I missed it that? I thought, all right, I'm going to miss it and see how it goes. This is storm. Nope, this is fawn. This color is fawn. And then this is the white. Do you see how my white is dripping off of my squeegee? That's because I got it too wet. You'll see it. It's, it's way too wet. If you get your paste too wet, all you need to do is let it sit with the um, lid off for a little while, just come back and check it until it gets back to yogurt consistency. And I should have waited, but I didn't want to wait. I just kept going. So there again, that's that shimmer copper. And here's where I use that white again, but it is really, really runny. And also, when I misted with the water, that water got into the transfer that didn't have any chalk on it, and it causes a problem. Look at my apples. Oh, you cannot really, there we go. Do you see that apple in the middle, how it's smeared? It was soaking wet and my chalk was wet and it did not work. So what I decide to do is to erase that section, just wipe that off. So I wipe off the three apples and the wording and I come back in and, and do that separately. See, I'm showing you how it's all messed up. I'm not happy, but my chalk is back to normal, by the way. My white chalk is back to normal. So I go and um, we're gonna erase that and fix it. This is me telling you, I didn't like how the misty worked. <laughs> I think the misty, I do think the water kind of um, putting the mist on there kind of messed me up. So I erase it. And oh, this is where I run into the problem because leaving that um, film on the chalkboard before, now I'm cleaning it off for real. So when I finish this board, you can really see where I left that film underneath the rest and you see how it's really clean in that spot. So that kind of bothered me. This one, I did all kinds of stuff to this one to mess it up. It's like, if I could mess it up, I did it. So I'm drying the board there. And here I notice that, um, that, that the chalkboard is looking clean. So I'm like, okay, well now I'm going to clean all the way across. So I'll just do all of these in white, just redo them. So I take off the words and I decide to get real brave and take my little barely damp cloth and kind of wipe it around trying to smear that. See how I'm doing, trying to make that haze go away. I shouldn't have left it. I should have cleaned my board off and I wouldn't have had this problem. But right here, 
look what I did. I smeared my paste on my cin on my cinnamon board. I mean, on my little cinnamon jar. So now I have to erase it too. I'm telling you, y'all say you like to see all my mistakes. Here's what I did. So I'm cleaning all this off as best I can. And I get a little bit in my numbers down there in the, in the word minutes, but I'm not worried about that. You can barely see it. Honestly, you'd have to have a magnifying glass. So now I've cleaned it up enough that I'm going to replace my little jar and replace my apples and things. So I let the board dry and I just go back to the transfer and put it back where it was. And I use those dots to help me line it up, the dots and also the words. That really helped me get it good and lined up. And so that way I could redo it. Now I'm not pressing my transfer all over the place. I'm only pressing where I'm going to be chalking and the rest I'm just letting it hover over my previous um, chalk work. Just let it hover. You don't need to press it down. So this time I decide to save myself time. I'm just going to do my apple in red and then the other apples I'm just going to do in white and not try to do the two colors just because I was like, I messed that up too bad last time. Now I'm telling you that I didn't smash that down. <laughs> so back to the red. My white is still too runny, but I use it anyway and I just try to be real careful with it and try to Kind of be sparing with it. See, I changed my squeegee, so I'm not using one of the big squeegees that picks up more. And um, then I took a mini, and look how far I can go with this because it was too wet. Should have let it dry, but, you know, impatience. All right, and then we redo the cinnamon jar, and all is right in the world, except the film. <laughs> you can still see the kind of film I left on the board. Um, so I'm not going to do that in the future. I'm going to just go ahead and clean the board completely off because you can still kind of see where I had to erase things. But this turned out really good. The board is beautiful. Um, I enjoy looking at it even with just the colors that I was able to get done. So that is the apple pie transfer done for you. Mistakes and all. I thought you would enjoy seeing that and seeing uh, how I went about fixing them. But my biggest tip is clean your board completely. Don't try to be cute and leave that film on your board. I don't even know why I thought that would be cool, but I thought it would, and it did not work for me. So just be sure when you're doing yours, you clean your board completely, and then you'll get a really pretty finished project. If you would like information about purchasing Chalk Couture or joining my Chalk Couture team or any information about that, you can visit our Chalk Couture site, which is uh, www.chalkcouture.com forward slash may may made it. Or you can email Amanda at May May Made It, and she can give you any information or answer any questions you might have about it. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.